I want to be real with you guys today. Listen, we're all living through this thing called life. And when you're going through life, when you're living this life, uh, we have no choices but bump into, encounter our shares of uneven roads. You're going to bump into some earthquakes. No question about it. Don't even try to avoid it. You're going to bump into typhoons, thunderstorms. You're going to go through many, many dark valleys. You know what mess up a lot of people? Here's what mess up a lot of people. You really think you're the only person that is going through all that. And one of the things that people constantly asking me is that how do I combat discouragement? How do I combat negativity? How do I combat disappointment, right? It's pretty easy, actually, if you start to understand how this life works, right? The first is the lens you're wearing is very important. Do you see life as a smooth ride? Everything's rainbow, you know, utopia type of world where, you know, horses with this horn is running around? Or do you see life as colorful, but it comes with a lot of clouds or comes with a lot of wind? And then after the wind, then you have sunshine. It's the way you look at things, right? If you want all the great things and you don't want any bad things to come along with it, they ain't called life. So that is the first biggest, biggest frustration people, why they cannot combat discouragement and disappointment because they expect everything to go certain way, which is the positive and good way. But successful people and people who live a happy life, by the way, people who live a happy life is also because they know there's a lot of unhappy moments. They know how to handle it when the time comes. They fully anticipate it. They know what's gonna happen. They're not caught by surprise when it happens, but they also come up with solution and become better at it every single time, right? And besides the lens, which is called perspective in this case, it's, it's about being grateful, right? You gotta have gratitude. Being grateful is everything, right? You know, the problem for a lot of people is that they're looking at things that they don't have yet. Instead, they should be looking at things that they already have. Give you an example. Are you breathing right now? Can you walk straight? Do you have anybody in your life today that you love? Does that person love you back? Do you have a car at least? I Me mean, might not be a Ferrari. It might not be a BMW, it might not be a Tesla, but do you have a car? Well, I don't have a car. Fantastic, no problem. Do you have the ability to simply go and get on a bus? While if you're living in other country, that's not even happening because there's war going on over there right now. See, being grateful is everything. If you have the right lens, plus being grateful and then you surround yourself with people who are constantly uplifting you because you choose that circle of people that you want to be around with right then you can combat any disappointment discouragement and everything else the reason why i want to give this message to you today is because there's way too many people embrace the victim mentality living in this society living in this world there are way too many people embrace it's okay to be negative because what you don't have right now it's okay to shoot at other people's success and when you don't understand what they have to go through many 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 dark nights many many early mornings eventually figured out a formula and eventually have their breakthrough it's so easy for people to be judgmental of how people live their life instead of focusing on what you got to do with your life. Look, I don't know about you. I'm extremely, extremely happy today, not because of the amount of money I have right now or the amount of influence I start to accumulate today, not because of you know the lifestyle I am experiencing today because many years of hard work, all those things are great. I'll tell you right now, I'm a happy person is because I have the right lens. I look at things different than most people. You know, I choose being grateful. I choose gratitude over being a victim of life, being a victim in a situation. If anything goes wrong, I'll tell you one thing, it's nobody else's fault, it's me. 
If you can take 100% full responsibility of your life when every shit hit the fan, when it goes wrong, it's always you, man. And you look at things differently and you have gratitude. How could you not be happy? So start to fix your mind. Start to change your lens. Then what comes out from your mouth will become completely differently. And when you start to talk differently, you attract different type of people in your life. And once that happened, bingo, life will start to change for you. Look guys, we're all living under the same roof. And this roof is called the world, universe. It's the same, okay? But the way you do things differently, the way you look at things differently, the way you speak things differently, will ultimately you you different results. Start a practice on gratefulness. Start a practice on having the right lens. Look at things in a different perspective. If you start to do that, I promise you one thing. One day you're going to become a very, very calm and happy person. So if you find any value through this video today, hey, give it a thumb up. Post a comment. Share this video to anyone that want to hear this message today because there are way too many disappointed, frustrated people living in this world today. And they might need this message. I hope today's message came at the right time and has uplifted many of you who needed this particular message today. Take care. Have a great week. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.